D. I'm sorry. Tuning in a homeroom with Smooth. Class is now in session. All right, all right, all right. So listen, um, I'm here to answer a question uh, today. I, I put it out as a poll um, on Facebook, like, sh- should I make this video? And everybody's like, yes, make this video. So I'm going to do this a little something different. Um, I'm not going to... Oh my God, what is on my keyboard? Anyway, um, sorry. Sometimes I'm really, really, it really bothers me when I see the little things. Anyway, I'm like that. Um, so there's a... Uh, are black people really Jews, right? Really Jews, right? Are, are we really Jews, right? Could could we be? Could we be, right? That's that's the question. So I'm going to do a, um, a brief history lesson. Um, this first time, this first time, this first video, just going to be a history lesson, okay? If you guys like it, you guys want more information, I will then start to walk us to present day, okay? I will start to walk us to present day. Um, I'm going to provide all my sources and all my links. Uh, well, not links. I don't need to provide links. I'm going to provide all my source material because it's it, it, it's just right there. Like, I, I'm going to show you on the screen. Um, and hopefully you guys take that information and do what you will with it. Um, first of all, um, the, the first thing I'm going to use, I'm going to use as a template, um, I'm going to use Jesus, okay, I'm going to use Jesus, because I'm going to do this as a, as an attempt to do my other video that I had an idea of doing was, like, like, is Jesus black, you know what I'm saying, like, that, that was, that was, that was the video that I plan on doing, but then I was like, oh, I can answer both questions at once, so without further ado, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that other good stuff. <laughs> Let's get into this. So, boom. So, we have uh, right here. I'm going to scroll up so you guys see where I'm, where I'm getting this from. So, this is Revelation um, chapter 1, King James. Um, we're going to go down here. Uh, and we're looking at verses. And this this is an underrated book of the Bible. Like, a lot of people don't read this book. Like, for some reason, like, people dodge, they just dodge it. They just dodge this book completely. Um, and I don't know why. I, this, this is the most, this is the book I've read the most. Because it's the most relevant. I mean, it's the, it's the prophecy of the future. It's super doom and gloom. But people don't want to read doom and gloom. People don't want to be ready for that. Um, but anyway, um, so this is, the, this is what I'm going to start. I'm going to start with Jesus. And we're going to work our way into how we can be Jesus. So, listen, by explaining Jesus, trust me, this will make sense. Um, So, in 14 and 15, it says, uh, so I I, I need to start, I need to start up here, so you know um, that this is Jesus Christ. So, up here, I, John, who is also, am your brother, uh, and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom, and in the patience of Jesus Christ, instead of the word, the word, of the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in spirit on the Lord's day and heard a great voice, a great voice as of the trump as of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seekest write in a book. Um, and what thou seest, excuse me, what thou seest. So what he sees, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto the Ephesus, Ephesus, Ephesus yeah, yeah. and unto Samaria, and unto per- Pergamos, and to Tyre. Da, 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 da. Um, and I turned to the voice that spake to me, and I turned and saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven golden one like unto the Son of Man, clothed in gar- with a garment down to his foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Uh, his head and his hair were like were white like wool uh, and his hair were white like wool and as, as white as snow and his eyes were as a flame of fire and his feet were like unto fine brass alright fine brass his were like unto fine brass so when you look at his feet his skin on his feet okay fine brass and i even have a google search that will show you what fine brass can look like 
all right um as they burned in a furnace as if they were as if they were burned in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many oh man i didn't catch that if unto fine brass as if they were burned in a furnace okay so not only was his feet fine brass his fight his feet looked like they had been burned into in a in a furnace right which um i'm gonna do two things here so first of all one 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 very important uh burned in a furnace where did where did jesus go and get the keys from he went to hell okay he went to hell and got the keys so therefore his feet were burned that makes sense. That makes sense. That's that's that. That's that um, description. But then you also like can kind of take that take that a step back, and you can look like the fine brass was as it was burned. Okay, so that means it was darker. It was darker than it normally gets because fine brass, when you heat it like that, it, it you know what I'm saying it it will get darker. Um, which I was on the pictures. Yeah, yeah. So that that's pretty much it for the verse. Um, you guys can go to um, Revelations or whatever. I'm gonna turn your attention now to fine brass. All right. So what does fine brass look like? Boom. All right. This is fine brass. This is fine brass. This this is all this is all fine brass. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is fine brass if it's been in the furnace, right? Okay, so that 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 just somebody trying to prove a point. But I'm going to now I'm going to now look up uh, fine brass, kind of a burnt brass. Okay, so let me let's let's look up let's look up right here right now. All right. Burn brass. All right. Okay, so it ends up looking. It ends up looking a bit more. As you can see, it looks a bit more brown. Okay, a bit more brown. All right. All right. This. This is also this right here. This is a good. This is a good image. This is a good image. This. Um. Let me. Like. So there's this. Oh my God. I didn't. No. Stop it. Um. So there's that. Um, yeah, yeah. So th that's those. Um, I think if I do this, it'll go back to it, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's those, and you can look at that. This is also so this this. Okay, so you're gonna end up looking kind of black. You know what I'm saying? Like this straight up, you're gonna look kind of black. Or you're gonna look, um, you're gonna look um, darker, a darker hue of Middle Eastern. All right, Th that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. But but here now, here's here's where here's where this here's where this all gets interesting, right? All right. You go over to Luke, right? Luke from chapter 23. Notice, notice, notice though. Notice though. When I was over here, I read King James Version. When I came over here. I'm reading King James Version. When I go to this next part, I'm going to be reading King James Version. Now, the reason I say that is because you want to be consistent when you're reading translations. Just stay consistent. Just stay in the vein, right? If you're reading, uh, if you're reading, um, what's, what's one of these new translations, right? Uh, contemporary English Version, right? Fine. You're reading the contemporary English Version. Don't suggest it. I do not suggest that at all. Um, I suggest you, like, just Try and get your uh, reading comprehension skills up. Uh, that's that's what I suggest. Oh, cancel. There we go. Cancel. Okay. So anyway, 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 anyway. like read King James version. Uh, New King James is fine. As someone that's read through the Bible multiple times, New King James is fine. Uh, but I prefer the King James. And if I'm not gonna read King James, I will. Um, I'll read like like a um, like a like a Hebrew like direct translation type deal. Um, those, those, um, those are pretty good. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like where you take the Hebrew and you kind of just slap it into Google and, <laughs> and it's not like, they're not literally slapping it into Google. They're more so doing like real translations, but uh, I mean, like you can take Hebrew and put it in Google translate and get you a pretty good version of the verse. Um, you know what I'm saying? 
uh, translate it to modern day English, um, which is which I believe is much better, much better than um, than reading some of these other things because I feel like a lot of things get lost. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, right. So this starts at Jesus, right, and it goes to um, the son of Joseph, who was the son, which was the son of of uh, Heli which was the son of Mahat, which was the son of Levi, which is the son of Malachi, which is the son of Jenna, the son of Joseph. Da, da, da. And then it goes and it goes all the way back. It goes all the way back, all the way back, all the way back, all the way back, all the way back. And it gets you to here. You know, it goes all the way like David, there's Abraham, um, there's Judah, there's Isaac, um, where's Solomon, there's David. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Big names in the Bible, big names, big names, big dogs. Uh, we got Enoch, uh, then we got Enos, we got Seth, we got Adam, and then God. Boom. Boom. So, I say that to say this, right? I say that to say this. Okay? And I know there's some people, oh, he was born through immaculate conception, so what does it have to do with his father? Um, I, I, to, to answer that question, it, it, it's neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. Honestly, honestly, it, it, it's honestly neither here nor there. It's just, it's just kind of prophetic in a way to be born of Jesus. I mean, born of Joseph, um, like that. Um, but then also, also, when you look at um, his mother's, his mother's lineage, right? If you look at his mother's lineage up from the mother, it's, it's still good. It's still good. I just don't feel like um, that's important for the sake of the video. Um, but, but okay. Boom. So, what I'm saying to say this, if you're still brown, right, by the time you go through all these generations and you look like fine brass that's burnt, I mean, like, come on, come on, come on, come on, really, come on, come on, I don't have to say it. I don't have to say it. I don't feel like saying it. Um, but y'all, y'all, y'all picking up what I'm putting down. Um, then you go over here and you go to, oh, why did I go to this? Okay. So this is, this is an interesting point in the Bible, right? Interesting point in the Bible, right? And this lets you, this lets you know, this lets you know that they, that both, both his parents were black, right? Had, had, had African descent, Okay. This, this, this is the part that, that, that matters, like, almost the most. But the genealogy is important as well um, for historical purposes. So you go over here to Matthew, right? They're fleeing, right? They're fleeing, right? So you, um, Matthew, second chapter, um, we're going to go down to chapter 8, right? So 7, 7. So Haran, he's the current king, current king, right? And he's, um, oh, here we go. We'll just start up here. So in Bethlehem and Judah, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from east Jerusalem, saying, Where is he born king of the Jews? For he, we have seen his star in the east and come to work with him. When Herod heard these things, he was troubled. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he was shaking the spot. You know what I'm saying? Jesus was shaking the spot as a baby, okay? And all Jerusalem with him. Um... And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes and of the people together, he demanded them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, and thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, art not the least among the princes of Judah. And for out of thee shall come a governor, and that shall rule my people Israel. Um, then Herod, when he had priv had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. And when they had heard that, heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they had saw in the east went before them until it came and stood over the where the young child was and when they saw the star they rejoiced with exceeding joy and when they come into the house they saw a young child with mary his mother and fell down and worshiped him 
and they opened their treasures. They presented him unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, myrrh, and being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. And when he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed to Egypt, and was there until the death of Herod. And that it may be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord, of the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt I have called my son. All right. All right. So look, so look. Boom. So they went to Egypt, right? They went to Egypt. Now, under normal circumstances, that doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't really matter. I, I kind of I kind of read all that for you. Uh, but it's important because when you go here, you look, and this is Judea. This is Israel at the time. This is this is Israel. This this right here. All this right here. This green. This is Israel, right? All right. This is Egypt. Look at how close they are to each other. Look at the rest of this continent, okay? Look at the rest of this continent. So they just got conquered. Um, for context, they just got conquered. Um, around this time, uh, 30 BC is. They, they just got conquered. Um, their, their independence had came to an end because the Cleopatra died, right? Right, so they went to Egypt to flee, to hide. Okay, to hide. Why would you go to Egypt to hide if you don't look like the people there? Right? If you don't look like the people there. I think I can move this. Can I move this? Can I move this? Oh, wow, I can. I can. I can. Okay. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna move that back. Sorry, got got distracted. Squirrel out. But anyway, so what what else, what is happening in Egypt? The last independent get, get off my screen. The last independent ruler of ancient Egypt was also the most celebrated, Queen Cleopatra. She ended her life by committing suicide after the Battle of Acre in 2031 BCE, and victorious Roman ruler Octavian, 27. Uh, called Caesar Augustus has kept the Hellenistic administration of Ptolemy's in place, highly effective as it was, extracting as much wealth as possible from the land and its people and the countries di the distant, and now the country provides the distant imperial capital of Rome with large grain. Okay, anyway, that's historical context, whatever, right? So listen, listen, you don't go to hide somewhere to flee persecution from dying. Or you're not gonna fit in, or you're not just gonna blend in, okay? It's it's that look. It makes sense. Look, if I if I was a black person and I wanted to go hide, I'm going where other black people are, and I'm gonna just live regular. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm gonna hide out, you don't go hide out where there aren't other people like you. You you, you stand out. Like that's like me going to I don't know uh, Cabot, Arkansas, right? Not a lot of black people there. That don't make sense. Uh, that's like me going to, um, uh, uh, let me think, let me think of another city. Like, like, that's like me going to, going to, like, me going to Mexico to hide out. I ain't Mexican. It don't make sense. I'm gonna be spotted immediately. Like, yo, we're looking for this black guy. He came here about a year ago. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, bar, bar, smooth living around the corner. Yeah, yeah, he, he up there. You know what I'm saying? Boom, I'm gone. I'm gone. That's easy, easy work. It's light work. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so I I did all that. I did all that. I did all that. I did all that with that history lesson. To say this, all right. To say this, that oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I did, all, I did all that to say this, okay? I did all that to say this. Our black people choose. We, we could be. We damn well could be. Okay? Because if 
if okay the father of the tribe of Israel right in that genealogy line Abraham right was it Abraham or was it Joseph that had all the hold on hold on we we you know we gonna we gonna we gonna look I'm gonna fact check myself right now before I say what I'm gonna say I'm gonna fact check myself right now so let's go over here let's go um rhymes Israel. All right. Okay. And we're going to 13. What? What? Okay. Anyway. All right. So we're going to hit this. All right. Jacob. 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 I call Israel. Given Jacob's name that was given to him by God. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. So look. So look. So there's there's Israel, right? So we're gonna look for. Oh yeah, we're we're looking at Jacob. Jacob, because Jacob was renamed to Israel, right? And Judah is one of the tribes. Judah. Judea. Um. So with that said, with that said. Those things said, All right? With those things said, oh, I didn't show it on the screen. I am, I apologize. I apologize. So let me go over here like this. Let me jump over here. So go try to real boom. I did not realize I didn't say it on screen. Boom. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Jacob. Jacob. Israel. This is from. This is from the Jewish Virtual Library. Okay. This is from the Jewish Virtual Library. This is them. They said it. Not me. Um, all right. All right, cool. Cool. So that's that. That's these. All right. That's those. So with that being said, with that being said, um, with that being said, I'm going to remove that. All right. So listen. So listen. Are black people Jews? Possibly. 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 Because we know for a fact that Jesus had to be an African something. Okay? By being, by fleeing to Egypt to hide and by his biblical description and by the genealogy, he had to be African something. African something. Okay? African something. At the next step over is Middle Eastern. That's, that's it. Them just two options. Middle Eastern. Black. Middle Eastern, African. That's it. Them the two options. That's all you got. That's all you got from Jews. That's it. That's all you got for them. With that said, with that said, I, I firmly believe that we could be. Could be. I can't I can't make a firm determination right now. Okay. But it's not outlandish to say. It, it deserves, like it deserves to be fleshed out more, um, and there needs to be a further discussion and further research and all that. Um, but if you guys want more, if you guys want me to go deep dive and get you that other stuff because I have more, I have more. But let's just send this down. Keep it simple today. It could be, and was and and that's that's what makes Kyrie sharing that video. A documentary not bad not necessarily bad because honestly 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 I all want to know at the end of this video do y'all want to know how president present day Israel was formed historically speaking historically speaking I'm only gonna do historical facts okay I'm only gonna do historical facts I'm just gonna do articles and stuff on like how it was formed through history, like what happened after World War II. That's interesting. You know, so that's interesting. You guys want to know that. You guys are interested in that. You guys want to know that information. Subscribe. Comment down below. Say, Byron, give me more truth. Give me more history. And I'll do that for you. Because I love history. I really do. I love history. That's just because it's it's fact. It's fact. You can't argue with it. It's over. Over it already happened. Can't argue with it. 
like if somebody wants to argue with me about the 3D, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But you don't have to like argue against the Bible. You don't have to argue against what the Jewish uh what what is this website called? The the in, uh, the Jewish virtual library. You're gonna have to argue against them. You're gonna have to argue against more biblical sources, and then you're gonna have to argue against the history of the geological um, the geological uh, geological area that they were living in. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to argue against all of it. And I would love to, I would love to have that debate. I would love to have that debate because I'm gonna eat you fucking alive. All right. So anyway. Y'all enjoy that. I'm going to uh, go get brunch um, and go watch Black Panther. And I'll be back. Uh, I'm going to put up a Black Panther review. So if you guys end up seeing that a little bit later, um, that's going to be great. Uh, that's going to be a great time. I've been looking forward to this movie. I know everybody been looking forward to this movie. It's going to be great. Um, thanks for watching. And um, I'm out. <laughs>